Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, but a little bit breezy as you can hear today. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in the Point Lonesome Swamp, deep in the oasis of freedom on this lovely Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. So I just did a short rant looking at the World Economic Forum's Global Risks Outlook for 2022, which held absolutely zero surprises in it. Uh, as part of my chronicling the collapse of a planet. But you know, guys, what, what happens in, in, in my research, uh, you know, while I'm looking for, you know, one or two stories to highlight, is this all of this crazy flotsam and jetsam, as I call it, j just little just little blips, little hints of what the uh, collapse of global industrial civilization in this planet is going to look like. And in and of themselves, they're, they're not worth a, a, you know, a full rant, so I end up just tossing them aside. So I think I might start an occasional collapse, flotsam, and jetsam ran and, and today's a good day for that because right here in the mainstream media there's four of these little stories just apparently not connected to anything just little microcosmic examples of uh, of what is unfolding in the 21st century and you can connect your own dots so I'm, I'm gonna pick four of these very uh, strange stories that may or may not have anything to do with the collapse of civilization uh, and the planet. You decide uh, what these portend for the future. We're going to start over there in North Korea. North Korea is encouraging its citizens to make manure from their own poop to counter a shortage of fertilizer from China. There you go. North Korea is asking its citizens to use their own poop to make manure as the country faces widespread food shortages, reports say. Yes, the country has long sourced its agricultural manure from China, but that trade, along with a number of other goods, ceased after North Korea closed its borders at the onset of the corona panic. As a result, North Korea has declared securing enough manure the first struggle of 2022 Daily North Korea reported the Daily NK, which is, you know, the party's official newspaper. State-run media has been encouraging people to make ho homemade manure. Yes, a source in North Hamyang province told Daily NK <coughs> that residents had started producing fertilizer from human waste after authorities launched a 10-day drive to increase productions. Production, I'm not sure how much a kilogram is. A kilogram is a thousand grams. Is a kilogram 2.2 pounds? That can't be right. Anyway, uh, citizens, you know, just everyday citizens were told to produce a quota of 150 kilograms of manure with people working in state factories told to reduce 500 kilograms of manure between January 4th and January 14th state media reported i just have to find out how many ounces 
is 100 kilograms. How many ounces is 100 kilograms? That can't be right. 100 kilograms is 3,500 ounces. Okay, so 150 kilograms is roughly 50,000 ounces. 50, there's 16 ounces in a pound. I, I, anyway, I, I guess they're uh, talking about uh, every human being in North Korea uh, shitting more than their body weight. In, in an attempt, I, I have no idea what this, this is just getting crazier and crazier. Uh, in an attempt to incentivize people, North Korea has also introduced a pass which will only be given to people who achieve that quota of manure production. The pass lets people trade manure. The North Korean Central Committee also briefly shortened the manure trade markets by one hour so that people had one more hour to make more manure. You heard it here on Collapse Chronicles. Don't ask me for an explanation. All right. As long as we're over there in Asia, you know, with all of these food shortages, China Consumer Rights Group says Kentucky Fried Chicken promotion encourages buying frenzy. A top Chinese Consumer Rights Group on Wednesday urged the public to boycott a meal promotion by Yum! China operated KFC restaurants, which it said sent some consumers into a buying frenzy, wasting food. Yes, KFC launched the promotion last week with Pop Mart, a Chinese toy maker known for its mystery boxes which allowed customers to collect limited edition versions of large-eyed and round-faced Demu toy dolls when buying certain KFC meals. This led to at least one consumer spending the equivalent of $1,649 to buy 100 meals at one time to collect the toys. Yes. Uh, the Chinese Consumer Association calls such behavior, quote, impulsive consumption. Yes. Other people paid others to purchase meals for them or just threw them away. This is according to the association, KFC, quote, used limited edition blind box sales to induce and condone consumers' irrational and excessive purchase of meals which goes against public order, good customs, and the spirit of the law. Yes. KFC launched the promotion to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the opening of its first outlet in China. 
the mystery boxes have been a big trend, particularly among young people. China in 2020 launched a major campaign against food wastage amid growing worries about food security during the corona panic. Yes. All right. Uh, but from China to Missouri. All right. Missouri to get its first Bucky's. What to know about the 53,000 square foot location? 53,000 square feet, an acre is 43,000 square feet. So we're basically talking about one under one roof, a one and a quarter acre, basically over on 7-Eleven. Bucky's, a massive travel center and gas station based out of Texas, is finally coming to Missouri. Yes, the Springfield City Council approved plans Monday for the 50,003 square foot location to be built along Interstate 44 in the Ozarks. Bucky's is known for its plethora of gas pumps, and the Missouri location will be no exception. The Springfield location will feature 100 gas pumps. Bucky's is also known for its clean restrooms, kitchens with fresh hot foods and trademark snacks, including the popular beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. All locations are open 24 hours a day. In 2016, Bon Appetit magazine hailed Bucky's as, quote, the best rest stop in America, giving credit to its beef brisket breakfast tacos, handmade fudge, and beaver nuggets. The mascot of Bucky's is a beaver. Uh, I did not realize you could get beaver nuggets. Uh, there you go. Bucky's now has at least 40 locations, primarily in Texas, but also in Florida, Georgia, and Alabama. The chain is in the middle of an expansion to Kentucky, Tennessee, South Carolina, and Mississippi. There you go. If you like that, how about this one? TikTok shows woman butchering the name of Bucky's. You can imagine what she changed Bucky's to. And Texans are ticked off. But anyway, we're going to wind up in, uh, in Turkey, of all places. Several of you have wanted me to do a rant on the metaverse. I have no clue what the metaverse is. No clue what it is. But here is one example. So I'm starting to figure out what the metaverse is. This is from some uh, newspaper in Turkey that I can't pronounce. The metaverse is already here for cows, and it is very sad. In Turkey, a rancher has been putting virtual reality headsets on some of his cattle to see if the animals produce more milk when they believe they are outside in a nice sunny field. Early results from the experiment are positive, but the actual sight of seeing a cow living in the metaverse so it can produce more milk for humans is sad, 
reminds me of the matrix and is a strong argument against the metaverse itself. Uh, according to several media reports, the virtual reality cows, also known as cyber cows, are owned by a cattle breeder and rancher living in Astory, Turkey. Because the cattle are trapped indoors during the winter, the idea was to use virtual reality to trick the cows into thinking they were actually outside. The hope is they would be happier and produce more milk. Uh, they were actually developed in Moscow, and this fellow bought them According to the rancher, the cow's milk output has gone from 22 liters to 27 liters a day. Quote, they are watching a green pasture and it gives them an emotional boost. Apparently the results are so positive that Kokak is excited to expand his experiment and plans to buy and install 10 more headsets onto his cows. companies and tech bros try to convince people that the metaverse is our future and not just a dumb buzzword being used to create second life too, I cannot help but look at these powerless, helpless cows strapped into a VR headset with the goal of escaping the outside world's harsh climate and think about where humanity will be in 20 years. Also, do you think the cows can play doom on those things? I mean, if a rat can play doom in virtual reality, why not a cow? Anyway, the future sucks. Anyway, the future sucks, and I'm assuming this is not from The Onion. This is a picture of a dairy cow in virtual reality glasses. Anyway, I don't know why we need virtual reality to play a game called Doom. I think, uh, Doom is being played out quite well, but now that I've finished this rant, uh, I need to think about where to go find some beaver nuggets. But before anything else, I need to go make some manure, and I highly advise you get out there and make your own manure while you still can. Your food supply depends on it. Talk about a closed loop system. You are what you eat. Bye guys.